Hi, Peter. What do you, what do you make of uh, Corbyn becoming mayor? Good evening. Well, I don't think Corbyn is going to become mayor. I must say, uh, I thought some of your intro was pretty awful. And while I wouldn't defend Jeremy Corbyn's time as leader of the Labour Party, I think there was a grotesque failure of the Jewish community across the country. I also don't think Corbyn is a Marxist, but I also don't think Corbyn would become London mayor. And if he stood against the official Labour candidate, I suspect that would just allow the Tories in. And it's interesting that actually it's it's allies or friends unnamed of Jeremy Corbyn that have put forward this uh, story today in another media outlet, the Huffington Post. And I'm not actually sure Jeremy Corbyn would want this himself. Peter, it's, uh, it's interesting that you say that Corbyn isn't a Marxist because he's praised Marx. I mean, would you, would you describe him as, him as a Thatcherite? I mean, what specifically did I get wrong was incorrect in my monologue? Well, I, th I think you're teasing me. We all know Jeremy Corbyn is not a Thatcherite. And I think it's fair to say uh, many of his ideas were decisively rejected by the electorate. But there are other ideas like incentives to living wage and rail nationalisation that are reasonable and poll very strongly. But anyway, the point is Jeremy Corbyn had two goes at being prime minister. He was not successful. Uh, the Labour Party wouldn't adopt him as a candidate, I suspect, in London. And they can't at the moment anyway, because he's suspended from the parliamentary Labour Party. And if he stood as an independent, well, I think that would be a tough decision when you've been involved in a party for 40 years. But we know Ken Livingstone did it. But I think Jeremy Corbyn would lose if he stood against the Labour Party. The risk is Labour might lose as well. And uh, Labour backslides under a Tory mayor. Yeah. yeah, which would be fantastic, to be honest. Uh, don't you think Corbyn should just retire gracefully? I mean, he's, he's quite old now. He's uh, 72 or 73, I believe, so he could spend some more time on the allotment instead of trying to destroy Labour. It feels like he's got grudges. He wants to come back and settle with, uh, with Starmer's new regime. Well, hold on. So most people in politics have grudges one way or another, but I also want to challenge you in what you said about the Tories. Just to pick up on one thing, transport for London. Boris Johnson, he is London mayor, gave up the central government rebate of £1 billion to his friend George Osborne. So one of the reasons that TfL went into the COVID crisis, where it lost its fair revenue, one of the reasons he went, it went into the crisis underfunded was because of the actions of a Conservative mayor. To go to Corbyn's age, well, actually, no, I think, um, I think Corbyn should, should stay away from frontline politics for reasons other than his age. I wouldn't discriminate against because someone there is 72 or because they're 18. I'd say... No, there's a lady who lives in central London who's 96 who makes a hugely positive contribution to public life called Elizabeth II. Well, yeah, but I think being queen is slightly different from being a uh, mayor or a politician. Sure, who's she does work every policy, day, even Christmas Day, the queen, the, queen doesn't, the queen doesn't argue, doesn't debate. Uh, she's, she's, a, she's a figurehead for, for the state. Uh, I mean, you've, you've raised some, uh, some issues there about the, the one billion rebate that, that Boris handed back. But, I mean, that's, that's small change in the grand scheme of things when you're talking about running a city. Uh, we, we can see uh, left-wing economics, left-wing politics have utterly failed other places they've been, they've been tried. Um, but do you think there's actually a, a real danger, Corbyn, or you might not see it as a danger, but a, a chance for Corbyn to get in? After all, Livingston, Ken Livingston ran as an independent, ran as a far left candidate in the 90s and, uh, and got in without the help from the, from the Labour Party. Well, again, I can't um, spend all night picking apart what you say, but, you know, to my, I'm a left wing person and Tony Blair and Gordon Brown delivered a uh, many years of uninterrupted growth. And remember, Ken Livingstone, although he won as an independent, he ultimately decided that his political fortunes were better and he sought adoption as a Labour candidate next time around and got back into the Labour Party and won as a Labour candidate. So I think, um, you know, in about 20-odd years of the London mayoralty, there's just been four years where there's been an independent candidate. And to be frank, a lot of people voted for Ken Livingstone because of his Labour background, not because he was a completely independent figure. The other thing I'd say about, you know, this idea of left and far left, there were some things in the 80s and 90s that um, the, the fringier parts of the Labour Party were arguing for, um, like gay rights, equal pay for women, end of discrimination against black people in public life and in the police. And today, all those things are completely accepted, normal and uncontroversial. 
But they, they aren't economic policy. Anyway, Peter, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to have, uh, it's great to have different perspectives on, even if I don't agree with them.